problems when they're set to cause widespread disruption. And actually, very rarely, the whole of the UK covered by a complete wind warning, which is now just yellow until midday. But we had amber overnight. But the Met Office overnight, many people may not have even known, issued a rare red weather warning. So on average, we have maybe around about one of these a year. And this is for danger to life. Mm -hmm. So it was across the northeast of Scotland, where they were forecasting winds of 90 to 100 miles an hour. And that happened. And the big reason for doing it is for the safety of people. Obviously, lots of power lines are down. Lots of uh, trees are on rail lines. And so a red warning means that authorities change working regulations. It means that people don't go out and fix the power lines. People don't go out onto the railways. So it's to protect those people who are trying to keep us safe to keep them safe. Thank you, Laura. 29 miles an hour. And actually, we have um, a really cool map behind you guys. This is a map of the world, and this has on it the winds that we had overnight last night. So this is the continent of Africa. This is Europe, the UK here. And we can see the darker pinks and purples there. Actually, our storm was the most powerful storm on Earth overnight last night. Normally over in the Indian Ocean, in the Pacific, we would have very stormy weather, a little calmer there, but it just shows how powerful our storm is being the most powerful on Earth at the moment. Wow. Amazing. So how windy was it? Well, the winds peaked overnight at 99 miles an hour in Northumberland, but we still have these strong winds right across the country. Where will our latest yellow weather warning shows you? The red and ambers from overnight have now expired, but there is a yellow one until midday today. Winds widely still 50 to 60 miles an hour, potentially 80 across the north of Scotland. So they've moderated a little from overnight, but they still will be powerful as we head through the day. So it's this deep area of low pressure that is driving across. The winds are lighter and safer. Yeah. And is this um, the kind of storm we've always had in the winter? So this is a particularly stormy year and potentially our next name storm. Mm -hmm. And we've seen the impact so far, you know, just this winter, the widespread. Good morning to you. Storm Isha battered the UK overnight last night. The peak wind gusts were 99 miles an hour in Northumberland and there's been widespread disruption already. We've heard of thousands of homes without power, trains in the wrong places, disruption at airports and on roads, bridges closed. So the advice is to check before you travel. The storm is clearing away. The winds moderate today, but the chance of the next named storm coming in tomorrow. So today is a day of still very windy, but not as stormy as last night with gusty winds. This is the latest warning force at the moment across the UK, a yellow one until midday of winds of up to 18 miles an hour. These are the winds gusts taking us through the day, 30 to 40 through parts of England and Wales, 50 to 60 for Scotland, 80 across the northern coast of Scotland. And as we head through the day today, more blustery winds and heavy showers.